Hello guys, it's Ryan Jones here, back again with another video. Today's video, it's a very serious one. I'm going to be speaking about, uh, you would have seen it over the past few days. Uh, you would have seen his interview. It's about the man which I spoke about, last time I spoke about him was about a month ago. It's Jim Goodwin, he's back in the headlines as he takes the role of the Dundee United manager um, status. Now, that Dundee United are taking an absolutely, absolutely massive risk with him. Yeah, taking a huge risk with Jim Goodwin because they need, they want to, they're bringing him in to want to avoid relegation. Now, that's a big risk because he had an absolute right. He spent two weeks at, one week, literally spent one week at Aberdeen and that's it. Honestly, man. Obviously, you would have seen the title of this video, my message to Jim Goodwin. You snake. You little snake. You're going to our arch rivals. You absolute rat. You snake. You snake. Honestly, we're playing them tomorrow. His first game as a manager is against his former team, Aberdeen. Now, I just want to rip him into pieces, destroy him. Joining our bitter rivals like that, you can't even be doing that. And um, in his interview, he said, like, he's been sitting home, chilling. Obviously, I, I don't have bad blood with him. It's just... Joining our arch rivals like that. Why? Just why? But, um, hopefully we can beat them tomorrow. I think we can, you know. They're, I think they've, they've re they're on a really, really bad run of form at the minute. They're bottom of the league by a country mile. And, um... They've not been doing well whatsoever. Obviously, the last time we did play uh, Dundee United, it was a 1-0 win at Pataudry. And the last time we played Dundee United at Tannadice, I don't want to talk about it as well. 4-0. 4-0. I bet that better not happen. Because I've been to... We've lost. We've lost to Dundee United the last... Three times we've gone to Tannadice. We've lost the last three games at Tannadice, and we need to push that back now against them tomorrow. It's a new phone derby. Of course, it's going to be Pyro's Electric. Switch change of plans. I will be going to this game. Sorry, not. I won't be going to the club. I was struggling to get tickets, and then I found tickets. I'll be sitting in right next to your away fans, to the hospitality, Dundee you fans. It'll be a good game. Obviously, a derby's always a good game. Uh, ultra's going up. Um, comment down below what are your thoughts on Jim Goodwin joining Dundee United. And it's an absolute, absolute traitor. What a traitor. And it's, it's terrible, man. We need, first of all, this game tomorrow must win. We need to win this game. If we want any chance of getting top four. Um, I would, our form right now, not the best, and the next coming matches, really important, we've got, of course, got Dundee United tomorrow, which we're expected to win, we don't win that, and I don't know what to say, really, and then we've got Hearts, an absolutely massive game against Hearts, uh, next week, uh, the weekend after, St Johnston away, Kilmarnock at home, and um, and then in April we've got Rangers. I do think I'm positive. I think I'm I'm really positive that we can get a result. There's only eight matches. Oh wait, not eight matches. Six matches left till the end of the season plus a split. It's gonna be tough. Let me tell you that it will be a very, very tough. But I think we can make it. We're in sixth right now. We beat Livingston uh weekend before. We're only two points. We're only if we get if Hibs lose on Saturday and Samarin lose on Saturday and if we win, we hop into fourth because Hibs and Samarin are leveled on points 37-37. Thirty-seven. Of course, Celtic probably gonna win the league now is no debate. Hearts I wouldn't say Hearts are comfortable in third. Hearts are only, what, five points off fourth. 
So Hearts need to. I don't think. Do, do you think Hearts are gonna keep third place? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Could Aberdeen make a surprise? Uh, Europa Conference League non-playoff spot. We'll have to find out with the players we've got. Personally, I think Angus McDonald and Matty Pollock at the back have been really, really, really good. And same with um, Ross McCrory. Uh, Duke's our best player. Mioski's not too bad. Clarkson's doing good. Gort is a, keep, a good keeper. So, obviously, you would have seen the title. My message to Jim Goodwin. My message is... We're pumping you.